so much everyone for joining in today for this session on Masters of Public Health uh, offered by University of Newcastle. So my name is Dr. Kazeen Majid and I am the program convener for Masters of Public Health um, at UON. So uh, before we talk about the program, I'm just going to introduce you to some of the terminologies that I'm going to use throughout this presentation. Um, so that you can understand some of the things um, that I, I am telling you more clearly. So um, at UON, Program Convener is the academic who is uh, responsible for the overall quality of the program, running of the program. Um, program Convener is the person who you will talk to if you want to talk about your overall degree, your program, um, what courses to take, and that person is responsible also about your course requirements and they are the person to go to if you want to talk about career advice and your study plans. So for Masters of Public Health or MPH, that is me at UON. I've also given you my email address um, so that you can contact me later on if you need to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion about um, this program. Uh, before we start, um, please make sure that you are uh, keeping your questions. Um, you can pop them in the chat. Um, and what I will do is when I will finish presenting, I will give you lots of time to ask me questions and to uh, clear your confusions or to offer you more advice um, and clarity about this program. Um, so some other terminologies that I'm going to use. Um, so Masters of Public Health uh, fits under the Faculty of Health and Medicine and under the School of Medicine and Public Health at UN. When I'm using the word of program, it means that the final award you will receive when you complete. So for example, Masters of Public Health is your final program or degree. Um, each program is made up of individual courses. Uh, some unis refer to them as subjects or units, but here we call them courses. Um, so you have to do a certain number of courses to complete the program. Uh, when I'm using the term of core course, it means the compulsory courses that you must complete in order to get that degree. Uh, and directed courses means the courses that you can choose from a number of optional courses. Um, so you can choose your own directed courses, again, based on um, which direction you want to go. And we are going to talk about that uh, later on in the presentation. Um, one of the questions that I uh, get asked a lot is why study public health? Um, so I myself am from a medical background, I'm a medical doctor, and um, I changed uh, my profession from a practicing medical doctor into a public health practitioner. So um, like you all, I did master's in public health, I did PhD, and now I'm teaching in the master's of public health program. So uh, this is a very interesting question. Can I make a difference? Would I be able to make a difference if I do this degree? These are some of the questions that you must be thinking. So I will try to quickly answer some of those questions here. So on an average, um, we all spend around uh, more than 80,000 hours in our career um, working per week, 50 years a year for 40 uh, for almost 40 years, or that's what our expectation is. So how to spend that much time is one of the most important decisions you will ever make. When we are doing medicine or allied health or lots of other professions that you might be currently in or other people are currently in, we all are making difference in our own capacity. But public health gives you an opportunity to make an impression on larger population group. Right here in front of you, I'm giving you a very popular example. So in 1968, while working in a refugee camp um, on the border of Bangladesh and Burma, Dr. David Nellen discovered a breakthrough treatment for patients suffering from diarrhea. So he realized that if he gave his patients a combination of water and right concentration of salt and sugar, that would rehydrate them and eventually save their lives. 
with this oral rehydration um, therapy or oral rehydration solution as is commonly known to us now, he has saved lots of lives, okay? So um, much more than someone would save just by working in any other profession. So with all due respects to all the other degrees and all the other things that people are doing, public health is one degree where you can really make a difference. Just depends on your passion and where you want to go. Um, again, some other examples of um, how um, public health has made a difference is uh, in front of you, there are top 10 public health success stories over the last 20 years. Um, neural tube defects, immunization, cervical cancer, oral health, sun protection behavior, tobacco control, and the list goes on. These are some of the top 10 public health successes over the last 20 years. And people like you and me have made this happen um, with public health achievements. So this is why this degree and public health is so important. So overall, on the whole, uh, with this degree and with this program, we want to promote and maintain the health of people um, and individuals and communities. So what is Master of Public Health? The Master of Public Health at UON is a very flexible degree. It is designed to give you a broad introduction to public health and to provide you with skills and knowledge base to define, critically assess, and resolve public health issues within a community while catering for your individual career goals. Um, and at UON, we give a lot of importance to student-focused individual goals as well. Um, I have listed here the program learning outcomes and you can go through them here and they are also available on our web page and I'm going to give you the link at the end of the presentation. But as you will see here that um, we have quite broad learning outcomes for this program, but our aim is very focused. We want to create public health graduates that are career ready, that are employment ready, those people who are equipped with the skills to actually enter the career and uh, to actually start doing work as soon as they finish their degree. So we do our best by giving you all of those skills. That's our main aim and goal. These are some fast facts about Masters of Public Health. Um, it's a one year full time or part time equivalent up to four years of uh, maximum uh, time. However, the uh, international students uh, must finish this program within one year and uh, take this degree as uh, full time students. Um, one very unique thing about our degree is that it can be taken as a fully online degree. Um, it can be taken as a face-to-face -face degree with majority of our courses being offered as blended or a mixed delivery program, which means that those courses can be taken as face-to-face -face courses as well as online courses. So that gives, again, all of you a lot of flexibility. Um, the term is in semesters. And um, the program structure is basically, it's an 80 unit program, which means that you will have to do 40 units of core courses or compulsory courses and 40 units of uh, directed courses or optional courses. Um, there are some admission requirements, which are again, very, very easy. We want you all to succeed and get admission. So there's a minimum of four year undergraduate degree in a field related to public health, um, such as medicine, um, biomedical or medical sciences, nursing, allied health, dentistry, psychology, veterinary science, education law, etc. cetera. Um, those applicants who have a three year of undergraduate degree um, should have a master's degree or additional postgrad qualifications. 
or um, they must have a minimum of one year of work experience in a related field. Um, we have got an amazing admissions team at UN who will help you with uh, your admission requirements as well. And you can reach out to me or um, to them about um, this. So what will you study? So the way our program is structured, and I'm going to show you a whole list of uh, the programs and, and the courses that we have, um, but our main areas of study are focused around professional public health practices, mm -hmm. and disease prevention and control, health promotion, health systems, um, uh, global health is also a very major focus of our program and in the current scenario we see that global health and health system is again a very important um, uh, requirement if you want to go into the field of public health. Um, then we also have policy, um, health economics courses and um, aboriginal health. Um, so as I said that uh, there are four core courses or compulsory courses. Each course um, is equivalent to 10 units. Um, these are biostatistics, fundamentals of epidemiology, introduction to public health, and social and ecosystem health. So out of these two core courses, I myself teach uh, two of them, uh, which is introduction to public health and social and ecosystem health. Um, if you look at the term and location, so you can again see that majority of them can be taken online as well as uh, face to face. Um, uh, so it, it, it just gives flexibility. Um, even with the online and the face to face sessions, um, we um, provide quite a lot of support um, to all of our students in um, achieving their uh, best results in these courses. Um, then we have directed courses and we have quite an extensive list of directed courses um, uh, which you can choose from. So you have to choose four courses and there are approximately 24 to 26 courses. Uh, we are um, including few more courses in, in the list of directed courses. Um, and again, you can take these courses. A number of them are online only. Um, a number of them are, um, again, mixed or blended delivery, that is face-to-face -face plus online as well. So again, lots of opportunities there. You can choose your direction here um, because what is, again, a key point about our program is that our curriculum is aligned with the recommendations from the Council of Academic Public Health Institutions, Australasia, or CAPIA, which is an international organization um, uh, overlooking the uh, public health programs which are offered in different institutions. So they have uh, devised some uh, competencies which should be a part of public health graduates. So over time, what we have done is we have incorporated all of those competencies into our programs and our learning outcomes. Um, so um, according to those competencies, we have designed some areas of interest. And um, when you enroll in our program, I am going to, again, give you that one-on-one -on -one interaction. And we are going to talk about what your main areas of interest are. And then we are going to help you choose your directed courses uh, in order to um, make sure that you are getting that best experience and you are uh, uh, basically developing your uh, CV along the way. So if you want to find more information, um, I've given you this link um, where you can get this information um, about the program. Um, and also you can email me and I can give you more information as well about the program or aspects of the program also. Um, so do we offer any additional support to our students? So um, I recognize that this program, Masters of Public Health, it attracts students from really diverse backgrounds. So currently we have got more than um, 180 students enrolled in Masters of Public Health who are in different stages of completion. 
So my students, all those 180, they come from so much diverse backgrounds, um, diverse educational backgrounds, diverse uh, social backgrounds, their family, their work commitments, their family commitments, all are different. There are very different age groups. So we cater to all of our students. We have got international students uh, from more than 26 countries. We have got Aboriginal Torres Islander students. We have got Australian students um, as domestic students. So um, to cater to all of our students, we have a lot of additional support. And I've just given you some brief points about that support. But if you want to um, have a look at um, some detailed um, uh, support options that are available, please go and visit these links uh, where you will get lots of details about what kind of support we are offering to our students. Um, international students can again go and visit this link uh, for more information and inquiries and also uh, to access some of our webinars. So one of the very interesting question, I think, is why study at UN? There are just so many other degrees out there. There are so many other options. So what makes Masters of Public Health at UN unique than the others? Why you should uh, go and enroll in our program? So first of all, this program is running for more than a decade. It's not a new program. I was um, one of the first, uh, you can say, uh, graduates of uh, the MPH program. Since then, since my time, this program has just improved and improved and improved every single year. So with practice, with evidence, we know what works best for our students. Uh, we have so many, so much student input into how we shape our programs uh, that we know what is best um, in terms of what increases your chances to get employment after you graduate, uh, what makes you all succeed in this program. Um, so that is why this is one unique edge that this program uh, has that uh, since it's running for more than a decade, it has improved a lot. The other thing is that we have got international and national award winning educators who are teaching you. So you might be um, studying one course, you will have one course coordinator who will be your point of contact. But even in that course, um, you will have an opportunity to meet so many other professionals, so many other people who are at uh, who are experts in that area who will be invited to come and talk to you. And that will also give you um, lots of opportunities to connect with those experts, to start creating your own professional links and uh, to excel in your area of interest also. Um, thirdly, the course content is carefully prepared to align with professional competencies and um, we regularly uh, do review our courses to make sure that we are up to date and we are providing you with um, the most updated information out there. Um, and again, we know what works best through experience and we do take a lot of student input uh, overall. But there is one most important thing um, and that is this program is among the top five in Australia for overall graduate uh, satisfaction for the health services and support category. So our graduate satisfaction levels are quite high, which makes this program um, uh, better than a lot of other programs. Um, I'm just going to touch on some of the other points about why study at UON. So we have got some very innovative learning and teaching experiences. So while many other universities were scrambling to change their face-to-face -face programs into online programs uh, due to the COVID situation, we already were there because majority of our programs have that blended delivery we teach online as well as face-to-face. -face. 
So we are already using that innovative learning and uh, teaching tools. Our educators have got efforts for their innovation and innovative learning and teaching. Um, again, we aim to provide you real world experiences. So in some of our courses, we give you an opportunity to work on your own projects. Those projects could be a part of your workplace where you are actually or currently working um, or projects that will give you an uh, opportunity to actually work with some experts in the field. And through those experiences, you can get publications, you can get some work related experience. Um, and I've had students who are already working in uh, local health districts and in some other areas because of those links that they developed during um, those projects that they were doing. So again, there are lots of opportunities and we do our best to give you um, those opportunities to excel and to make those um, links that would make you succeed in your professional environment. Um, we are very proud that at UN we have got um, some amazing links uh, with uh, research centers. Um, I would focus here on the Hunter Medical Research Institute, which is delivering health and medical research solutions all around Australia, and it is one of the best um, research centers here. And this is where our face-to-face -face classes are held. So our public health team sits within the Hunter Medical Research Institute. This is where your classes will be held, face-to-face -face classes will be held. Uh, we invite researchers and we invite educators who are actually working in these areas. So you see, you will have that one-to-one -one link with the people who are working in that area. Again, something that makes our program um, uh, different than the other program. Most importantly, career opportunities. Again, um, I think this is a very important question that must be in all of your minds. What will happen after we graduate? Um, so we want to make sure that our graduates are well equipped to work in a range of public health roles. Um, historically, our graduates have been very successful in um, getting jobs in environmental health departments as environmental health officers. Uh, they are working as epidemiologists. Um, they are teaching in university. I'm on one of the examples. I'm a double alumni uh, from UN. I did my master's of public health from here. Um, then I did my PhD from here and now I'm, I'm teaching. So it all started with um, the MPH at University of Newcastle. Again, it depends on um, the opportunities that you are getting and how well you interact and take up uh, those opportunities. Um, health education, health policy, health promotion, there are so many areas where public health practitioners are now working. So we have got graduates working in Cancer Australia, in diabetes, sorry, Cancer Council, um, Diabetes Australia, lots of other areas, their local health districts. So even before our graduates are uh, uh, graduating, uh, my students start applying for jobs and they are successful in getting that. So in the end, I think irrespective, irrespective of where you are in your health related career, if you're interested in moving into a public health area, um, we will try our best to enhance your public health uh, CV and we will make sure that we are equipping you with lots of different opportunities. We are introducing you to different areas under the public health to make sure that uh, you develop those things, you learn those skills, you apply those skills, and then you're ready to move into the professional world. Um, if you want to find out more, here are some of the links.